what is simplicity <laughs> as <clears throat> our one of one of our maxim also emphasizes a life being tuned with nature but not just that babuji puts it he puts a significant word in front of it be simple be simple and in tune with nature mm. the second maxim also talks about the goal be one with god so when we mix this two being one with god and being simple are identical thing he has also given the means how to arrive at that state so the process that was given is also very simple cleaning when when he recommends us that make a sankalpa sankalpa is not very well understood word so let's dive into that first sang means with and kalpa means imagination and intention so when we imagine a state of simplicity and have the intention behind it that i would like to arrive at a state of simplicity what does that mean it also means i have to get rid of my complexities that's why babuji puts very simply remove these two things and slowly depending upon your level of tolerance of accepting simplicity and purity you will develop that's why he says remove complexities and impurities you will arrive at simplicity and purity but how to define what is simplicity simplicity <clears throat> manifests at the multiple level at the physical level in the form for example functionality wise also a simple function form and function which is predominant function i would say the characters especially form and function in machineries and in architectural designs etc when we go deeper into spirituality and psychology psychologically speaking when i don't demand much i don't have any conditions with my approach meaning when i am seeking god or when i am seeking a intense relationship that can culminate into permanent bond which gets juxtaposed or gets evolved into from mere human loving relationship to relationship with the ultimate that does not mean that if you fail in loving relationship here in this world you will fail in building relationship with god no we should not translate it like that that is too complex then see <laughs> simplicity in form and function psychologically speaking and spiritually speaking they are to me both means as well as the end simple approach leading to simple results that's why our beloved old man used to say you cannot lift a small needle with a crane you can simply pick it up by hand that is simplicity mm. worshiping gods and goddesses or meditating 
with an intention of acquiring something to fulfill your greed and fulfill your desires is also not being simple because you are attaching some intentions some peripheral goals with the spiritual practices or religious practice it really does not matter even when we meditate and we have this idea that i am going to go into samadhi this intention also makes it very complex so being in the present without any peripheral demands just just being in that moment is to me a simplicity you see you are not judging because of your past and you are not planning to adjust for the future it is a state of being where nothing exists actually you look at person without intentions have you not seen especially women notice men looking at them with hungry eyes <laughs> <laughs> intentions so ultimately <clears throat> simplicity is all about our intentions if there is any goal is the aim any expectations behind my thoughts or action that spoils my simplicity that creates complexities in life that creates impressions in my life and that keeps me separate from godliness that creates impurities and complexities look at his life you have seen the videos of babuji and there are many good abhyasis whose life will exemplify the how simple they are see how pure they are but when one looks at babuji also smoking hookah for example or spitting somewhere or shouting at malin that you'll find in this book <laughs> then you might say oh he's not very simple <laughs> is smoking hookah maybe he's having marijuana with it also <laughs> but what sort of mind would think like that say hmm. only a complex mind would think like that so you have to understand in order to understand a simple person i have to be very simple myself only then you can appreciate that simplicity put it putting it differently i would say again quoting him advancing in simplicity also means more and more of less and less that's all my take is on this that just being yourself authentic self suppose uh you have a desire for something and you are not expressing your desire because somebody might think that you have such a bad desire or you are still having entertaining such desires for money perhaps or buying a jacket don't judge them yeah. express it don't hide it because sometimes you say oh i like this jacket or i like this shirt people go to the extent of saying he's such a complex person it's such needs that arises because of circumstances suppose you have to go to queen of your country would you go dress up like this you have to respect that person and dress properly and go you don't say oh i, I want to go simple might as well go naked then say extreme simplicity 
So to what extent you want to take the superficiality of understanding of simplicity? Putting it briefly again, it's about our attitude as well. Without any ebbs and webs within our minds, in our attitudes, without any judgment of anything, means no baggage. <laughs>